Well, TDK successfully <laughs> pulled it out after what apparently was not the best play ever. And, and yet we still don't get a player against her. I wonder if there's like something in the algorithm where it says if you're a buddy with someone, don't match you up. It's probably not. It's probably because we, we have played people we're buddies with yeah. before, but it's just not fair. Speaking of not fair, it's keepable. <laughs> can we keep it? We can keep it because the cleaver and the moment of her heroism are both going to gain life. So even if we were to fall behind, we can potentially make it back up. Yep. All right. I just wish we had a two drop since that's what this deck is built on and we don't have any. Yes. And we got another travel preparation. Oh man, we will be so fucking prepared once we get that rolling. <laughs> we'll be like the most prepared motherfuckers ever. Yes. If only we had some green. But hey, he's not casting anything either. And there we hey, go. Yeah, Spectral Rider. For once, it's coming out and it's doing something. And he might not be playing white. Oh, he's playing white. You know he's playing. What the, why are you even saying? Oh, I'm black. Communist. What? <laughs> <laughs> that, well, I, uh, I don't know what that meant. Okay. Here, because we don't want him to flip, we have to cast something. I think we cast... I think... He's a 2-3, right? Oh, but he can't block. Right. Hmm. Yeah, we can go ahead and attack. But I think we probably cast our bell ringer. Just to get him out there. Just to get him out there. Next turn we could travel preparations twice. twice. And then the next turn after that we could do it two more times if we wanted to. <laughs> That'd be pretty gross. It'll be interesting to see if he... Oh, okay. So, he killed one of our guys. Jerk! And... Hmm. Butcher's Cleaver or Woodland Sleuth? Hmm. Well... Sleuth gives us another guy so we can travel preparations next turn. Sure. Um, butcher's Cleaver, if we can then... Man, if we it. get the Butcher's Cleaver on that guy, putting him to a, what, a 4-4 four, four lifelinker? Right. That's... The downside is... I think we have to go Woodland Sleuth. Okay. Because we can't equip it and... And do that. And cast something. Sure. Like, we can cast it this turn, but if we don't get another land, we can't do both, which would mean he's flipping, and then we don't like we've it. lost our advantage. All right. There we go. And that was another place where I could have attacked and tested the water, but chose not oh, to. Oh, he flipped himself. Right. On the other hand, we can flip him back. Right. So, and we can flip him back multiple times if he just keeps passing the turn. Would we rather have one travel preparations and a sharpened pitchfork or travel preparations flashback? Hmm. You know we went to travel preparations. Well... What do you think, John? Well, let's flash it back. There we go. Now, the reason that was good... Okay. He's at a 3-6, he's at a 4-5, he's at a 4-6. So unless he has a combat trick, we could attack in right now. Okay. And because of that, I think we do. 
if he uses some spell and ends up killing our guy... Well, then he does. Yep. Then we'll regret it for the rest of our days. But Really? No. Oh, Spidey Graph. Yep. That's a combat trick. But now he's used it. And his guy is shrinking. I fear a victim of the night. That would take him out and his counters too. I suppose the upside of the sharpened pitchfork would have been any all that stuff. Like the sharpened pitchfork would have stayed, right. whereas the the counters go when he does shenanigans. Right. And he did have. He had not cast something that had. Um, all of that open, so that was the potential downside. Okay. Discard two cards. That sucks. Uh, this one probably for sure, because we can flash it back. Sure. And then... Hmm. Maybe Moment of Heroism. Okay. Because those two are going to be permanent and it, even if we load it up all on one guy. So, I think we cast the Butcher's Cleaver. Okay. And just get it out there so that we can start gaining ridiculous amounts of life if he doesn't kill our guy. Well, I like that plan. Yeah. I'm in favor of that. I'm also in favor of the fact that if he's a 6-6, six, six, it will kill his big form. Right. And if he's casting something, as long as it's not killing our guy, <clears throat> if he's casting something, that guy's not flipping. He's trying to decide that. Yep. He's trying to figure out how he can... Survive the attack and get the guy flipped. Ooh. That's a good answer. Yep. Yeah. So now we can attach it and put out the pitchfork, which will keep the guy from flipping. Yep. Now what's not good is he can continue to make his uh, little thingies, little guys each turn, but we'll probably be forced to use them to chump block. And we gain six life each turn if it's this guy. Right. Which is not really a very good deal for him. <laughs> right. And the other thing... I guess potentially is if we get out our village bell ringer, our our second one, do travel preparations and put the pitchfork on him, then we might be attacking with two guys that he has to stop, and so his one guy a turn wouldn't we, be enough. Wouldn't do enough, right? But this guy might have separate the bloodline because I know there are two of them out there. What does that one do? Um, it's the one that you exile all creatures with that same name, which would really screw us up with... <laughs> Our bell ringers? Yeah. Okay. So where we're at... I could... cast him and then travel preparations to get an extra one in. I could equip the pitchfork attack in and then cast him so they he's untapped that's probably the I like that one better play I'm guessing oh he's letting that guy die oh because he wants the vampires he's Still hoping that he can get to get to five vampires. Yeah, five oh, sure. Vampires and, you know, so we're going 
Dream Team. And then do we travel preparations? Um, or do we wait for his... I'm going to take him out for a second. I'm not sure I want to cast him yet. Okay. He no longer has a werewolf. So we don't have to. We don't have to. If he attacks with the... What's his butt's patrician? I can flash him and surprise it. Sure. So do we need to go... Or oh, no, we use that for something else. Yep. So I think we just... Hey, Sharpen's Pitchfork is the answer to Typhoid Rats. That's a lot of things on the table all of a sudden, though. Yes, it is. <laughs> he totally has severed the bloodline, though. I mean, it's just, it's <laughs> well, gonna happen. Sure. Okay. We only have one Sharpen Pitchfork, though. Yes. So, we have to send him in. He doesn't know it works. <laughs> yeah, or he's really, I mean, he's really trying to get to the five vampires. And he's going to be able to flip. Right. Next turn. Because he'll do one to get him here, next turn he'll cast one, and then do the flipping part, I think. Because it's not a tap, it's a pay one black. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The blind keeper is just mean. Now? But they both have flying. Yeah. I mean, doesn't matter. We're still casting him. Mm -hmm. What in our deck can win it for us at this point? <clears throat> I don't think there is anything actually. I mean, I I don't think we quit. Well, maybe we do. Cuz this game is going to go on for a very long time before gaining 7 life every turn. And he can regenerate that guy. Give these guys each a little bonus. Oh, you should put it on that guy though. Since we're your life linking. Yeah. Yeah. Probably should have. But he'll deal twelve, we'll gain seven. Hildale 16 will gain 7. I guess it's not going to be that long of a game. But he's ahead on the clock. I just don't think there's anything in our deck. Tell you what, unless what comes up next time is an answer, which I yeah. don't think that counts, just call it. Because, yeah, you're right. Yep. There's no sense in... I mean, we're 5 minutes behind. Right. Okay, so, now that we have all the cards there, Rebuke would be the only thing we have that could kill it, and he would have to attack with it 
and he's not going to attack with it into an open... Um, he's got a lot of flyers. Right. So the spiders might be worth it. Right. But he only has a lot of flyers if he gets his... Rare card. Right. If he gets it, then he starts creating them. Um, this is where we probably should have taken the Nevermore. Yeah. Um, because that is a card that will win... This particular... Yeah, the Bloodline Keeper will win on its own, and Nevermore would be a way to stop it. Um... We just have to beat him. We do, we have to race him. All right, that's what the deck was built for. Yep. Well, we had a slow ass start. Yeah. Yes, we want to play first. No, we don't want to mulligan. Well, what do you know? We don't have to mulligan. <laughs> we actually have about the land we're looking for. Yep. We have a cloistered youth, which is. Maybe our best aggressive two drop. Yeah. And he has a type. But she flies when she's a monster, right? No. Oh, well, that sucks. Yep. Her picture would suggest flight. Yeah, the banshee. Yeah. I agree. All Linda Blairish. We're transforming. And I know it's going to die. And I'm okay with that. We really went to. We have a lot of woodland sleuths that can bring it back. True. <coughs> okay. I think we... Cather? Cather. Vampires are annoying. So are werewolves. Yes. This strange combination <laughs> of vampires and werewolves is really unacceptable, though. It is. It's a an odd brew that he has going. <laughs> now, now remember, whatever you do, don't bonds of faith a, were a werewolf. It's just too confusing for words. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it'll be good. Some of the time. Stupid brain weevil. Right. So, I think we keep our butcher's cleaver. Okay. He has a lot of things that are not human, though. And here, we probably travel preparations twice. And just attack with two four fours. Okay. I mean, as far as aggressive moves, that's going to make... He has nothing up that he can burn us with. Both of our creatures have... Goofy abilities if they die. Right. And, yeah, there's a good chance we take him to 12. He's playing red. All right, sure, why not? Okay, so see which one he kills. Probably depends on whether or not he has a way to kill the guy the next time. Alright, no. I think that guy is the threat. But he wants us to have two... Two little flyers. Alright, sure, why not? Okay. <clears throat> Man, our uh, 
Our hands are empty quick this round this time. Yeah, and he still has three cards. Let's hope one of them is not a blood link. Um, uh, Not um, what we looking for. Okay, what would be better? Attaching Butcher's Cleaver, attacking in to deal five, and then next turn we should be able, unless he casts a flying creature, to deal lethal? Or... Equipping it to the Cather, attacking in, gaining seven life. He'll have to block with the Stromkirk patrol. So he'll lose his creature. And we will deal two. I think we attach the cleaver and hope he doesn't get a flyer. I think you're right. I like that the tokens are foiled also. Do I attack with Cather anyway? Yeah. Force of the trade. Then I can give this guy a token. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the answer. What answer does it give? Might be better. Question. If he has like a Geist Flame, he could draw it out and do some serious annoyance to us. Okay, well, unless we draw something cool though, uh -huh. um, attach the Butcher's Cleaver to the other one. Okay, here's what I fear. Okay. Didn't he show us that he has a spidery grasp? Yes, he did. So, if I attach the cleaver to the other one and attacked, he spidery grasps. Um, he'll use this one because then he's gaining the life. Sure. And we would be left with a 1-1. One, one. If we do it this way... But at least we would then trade. Well, but, okay, if he did it to this one, we would trade. If he did it to this one, we'd just die. Yeah, but that's true no matter what. Right. What I'm saying is, this encourages you... him to kill this guy because he's dealing more, which buys leaves us with a 2-2, two -two, which will do okay. more damage in the long run, is kind of my theory. I wish we had drawn a travel preparations or had one left over because then we could just make it so that it just didn't matter yeah. spider grasp no so what you said was right well except like so it wouldn't matter because it does three damage right so he would have killed, he would've, he killed he would've the target one he would have targeted the other one that's yeah. true so we're left with a larger creature. Now he's going to gain three when he attacks. He'd get up to four. So once again, we're at a point where he either has to stop our spirit. One of those two cards in his hand have to be able to stop a flying creature. Yep. Well, now we find out. Spider, Spider grass. grass. Yep. Dang it. Okay, that's a problem. Yep. So now we're down to Hill we have, four. We, we're on two round clock, unless right. he does something which 
shortens that. Sack it. Do it. Ha 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 Fuck you. Yep. And we have to draw a human. That's a human. I would have preferred... <laughs> a slightly buffer human? Yes. Like maybe a village bell ringer? Uh, I guess regardless, probably all of our humans are going to die to that and we can't cast two things on turn. We could pin him. If he had haste. Oh uh, yeah, we can block. Yeah. We can block this turn to gain enough life that if we survive another turn. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, no, we're, no, we're, we're back in, into how long is it going to take to lose? And apparently, not long. But hey, I, I didn't know we would gain life. Prey upon? Yeah. That's the game. Yeah. Yep. Damn it! Oh, well. He definitely had... Well, well, he, he had the best limited bomb in the set. Yeah. Bloodline Keeper that first is game. the best limited bomb in the set. Then this game, he just had the answers. I mean, he had burn when he needed it. And he had something that took out a flyer. Yep. Oh, well. We were close. But no cigar. But Jabberwocky is up on top deck, King. So maybe we won't be humiliated by our fan this time. <laughs> right. Equally awful. Right. And once again, people will have the wonderful opportunity to watch two traps that have absolutely no interaction with one another. Well, no. We'll, you can go and watch the picks and see what we passed that maybe he took. And, and vice versa. Yeah. But you won't be able to see... Us actually go up against one another because... Yep. Yeah. We just lost. Although, if he loses, since we ended a round early, we can challenge him and record it just so we have a third round yeah our hypothetical finals that never occur can you can you do that with these decks yep you have to play in a free form format but you can play a 40 card deck huh which is what we should have done that time that we had all those people yeah yeah at the same time, it was very should, late. Should have should drafted and then just skip the actual thing and just play with all of our friends. <laughs> yes. Because, you know, we'll just hand it to the three guys that were in there that weren't. Yeah, they, they deserved it. <laughs> they don't watch the show. Yeah. Therefore, they're better than us. They, they probably knew what they were doing. Okay, well, we'll either see you. We'll either do that or we won't. Yes. And it all depends on Top Deck King and Jabberwocky. What is this? It's a brownie. Weird. I don't think it stopped. <laughs> I can't use my freaking left hand for anything. There we go.